Hi, I'm Shannon. I'm Jason. And, and we're, we're the, the Shiba, Shiba guys. guys. And welcome to Clover Tool School. Extra credit. And for this month's Tool School, the folks at Clover talk to you all about their wide variety of hand sewing needles. So, for extra credit, we're going to talk about our favorite hand sewing needles and how we like to use them. So the needles we're going to talk about today, again, some of our favorites, are first of all these gold eye applique needles. Uh, I like them for general hand sewing of any sort, and this is the uh, number 10. The Sashiko long type needles, we use these all the time for our Sashiko and Boro work. Right, if you take one of our classes in that, you'll also use those. Uh, the Huck embroidery needles, which are interchangeable with... The, uh, the long, uh, sorry, the, the jumbo bent tapestry needle. And we'll show you that one a little more up close in a minute. These are kind of interchangeable for using with weaving in your ends and your yarn. Um, and then finally, special shout out to our black gold, their black gold line of needles. Excellent. Um, yeah, make sure that you take a look at the Tool School video to see. Uh, Steve does a good explanation of what makes these so special. Get your hands on these and give them a try when you can. Yes. Now, let's take a look at uh, the exactly how we use them. We're going to go over to our table and we'll show you exactly how we are using all of these needles. Yay. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about the Sashiko needles. These are the Sashiko long type needles. I have one already threaded up here, as you can see. It is threaded with some of our favorite thread from RFL. This is the RFL cotton 12 weight. We do use it doubled up when we are doing Sashiko to give us a nice bright white line there. And the way you, uh, you use this type of a needle is you use the adjustable um, adjustable ring thimble available from Clover. This is another great Clover product. And I'm just going to go ahead and hold the needle like such, cradling it right into that thimble, and then I'm pinching the needle so that it's cradled in there. And I'm just going to start making a few small stitches. They're going to be slightly longer on top than they are on the bottom. Like so. Once I get to the end, I end it on the back side, pull it through, get a little pop to make sure those are nice and tight. And that is how you make a Sasako stitch with the Sashiko long type needle from Clover. We do a lot of knit and crochet work here in the studio, and for that type of work, I like to use. The, uh, the jumbo tapestry needle with a bent tip. You see that's slightly bent there. Um, this works perfectly when you're doing, um, when you're weaving in ends or when you're sewing pieces together. Um, but I also like to use the Huck embroidery needles as well for the same thing. You can see that these are smaller. They do have that same bent tip that, that is uh, blunted. These are great when you're doing stuff like lace weight or finer weight fabrics. Also, I use this same type of needle when I'm doing things like embroidery on knit and crocheted fabrics. This is the perfect needle for that. I'll show you here. I'm actually going to just going to do a quick chain stitch on this particular piece. This is a single crocheted fabric. And I'm just going to start by coming up in any particular position. It doesn't matter where you start. Now to make the chain stitch, I'm just going to go back into that same hole where I came up and I'm going to come down one row below, making sure to catch that loop as it comes through. Once you've got that first one started, it's as simple as just doing the same thing over and over again. And you can go as fast or as slow as you like. You're just going to keep Going back into that same hole, catching that stitch, making a nice even chain there. When you're done, just take your work right on back and that'll give a small catch stitch there. And everything is then tied off and you can weave those in on the back and you've got a perfect line of chain stitches using the uh, the tapestry needle with bent tip. These are our go-to hand sewing needles. 
the gold eye applique needles. They are size 10, you can see there. Uh, we use these in the studio as kind of an all-purpose needle anytime we do any type of type of hand sewing. I've got one already threaded up here. It is threaded uh, using Aurifil cotton 50 weight. Uh, it's again another all-purpose thread that we use when we're doing any type of hand sewing in the studio. I'm going to do a quick demonstration uh, using this needle and this is going to be the half back stitch. It is a very common stitch that we use a lot here in the studio, uh, especially when we're doing uh, things like hems. It's a very small stitch on the front side. Um, on the back side you'll have a slightly larger stitch, but generally speaking, that's not going to be seen. So I'm just going to go halfway between the previous stitch and where my thread has come up, insert my needle, and then I'm going to go twice as far as I went back. And again, I'm just going to go halfway back and then forward twice as far. Once again, halfway back, forward twice as far. You can see this is leaving a very, very small stitch. So that is why we do use this for some hemming work and other general hand sewing. It's simple and it's just a tiny little stitch there. And uh, these needles, the gold eye applique needles are perfect for it. Okay, and that's it for this month's Clover Tool School Extra Credit. We're the Shiva Guys. Thanks for joining us, and be sure to join us again next month when we will feature another one of our favorite oh, yeah. products right. from Clover.